Good day, fine people. A very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick. We're on the Atari 2600, and we're going to be playing Solaris, designed by Doug Neubauer and published by Atari in '86. So let's get this thing underway. It's a space combat game. We all get some enemies called the Xylons and basically shoot everything. Now it's got a a few good warp effects on this when we go from sectors, but there's 16 quadrants over 48 sectors. You'll soon quickly get the hang of this. So listen to these sounds. Now this is planet based this stage, you must, uh, well, shoot stuff I would say. Now here is the grid, you see that X there, we decide where we can go. Now it's all about conserving fuel this, which you see in the bottom right. Um, when you do the warps you must keep your ship from going out of focus, let's collect these guys here, and that conserves fuel. If you run out of fuel you will lose a life. Now you're gradually going to get the idea of this, but it's gorgeous graphics and great sound and wonderful playability. There's three types of different sectors. One is your own planet where you collect, well, enemy planet where you collect um, uh, stranded cadets. Another one where you're just fighting through stuff through a space corridor. And sometimes you'll have one of your sectors been overtaken by the enemy and then the control reverse. And you'll know that when the screen's gone red, right? But as a kid, it would have just translated as shooting stuff in space. Look at the shading on that ship, that's good. And you can scroll from left to right continuously. And now come some enemy spaceship things. You go up and down to a small degree and then shoot the uh, the enemy there. And you see the radar thing, the scanner at the bottom, and that's to get stuff in line. Right. And I do like the effect of that um, flame coming out the back of the ship. We wouldn't need that in space, of course. But anyway, it's still nice to see. And uh, all the classic sounds you'd expect from the Atari 2600 are there. So it's a great game. This is being played through a recommendation. I never heard of this before the recommendation, but um, it's a classic game. And if you own an Atari 2600 or even emulation, I would say track this one down as we warp away. How's the fuel doing? Not too bad. So my lives are in the bottom left, represented by those flags. Oh, we've walked to a different side of the screen, I think. So you're against the Cylons, as I say. Now, the game was originally based on the film. It was supposed to be a timeline for The Last Starfighter, which came out soon after Star Wars, which uh, starred Mark Hamill. So they're trying to... Um, well, The Last Starfighter starred Mark Hamill as well. They're trying to catch on that, but something happened, and that didn't really go ahead. Whoops. Right, OK. So, I think we lost a life previously. It's going down quite quickly. But, um, you know, I would never be 100% sure what's going on in this game, but all I know is it's pretty cool. It offers something different from many of the other space fighters. It's like 3D for one, so it's not like Galaxians or Space Invaders. Um, the only other view like this I saw was a Beam Rider, but that was single screen and every, every uh, level was the same. Well, getting gradually more difficult. This has at least got three different environments. If we destroy that thing. Now, I think there's TIE Fighters in here of some description, so it'd be quite nice if we see them. Do, 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 do. So the dots represent a space corridor, the other things represent different planets, either the aliens or our planet. It'd be nice to see if we can collect some cadets again. No, we're back in a space corridor. Oh, I like that alien. Now, if you owned this one back in the day, let me know, did you ever complete it? And when you did complete it, what happened at the end? Fuel not looking clever. You can refuel by going back to your own planets, right? So if you can find them... I like the star field in the distance, it's giving the game a nice bit of depth and uh, the frame rate is good as the planets and meteors stuff come straight at you and it's good um, engine sounds too for a spaceship. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm liking it. He's liking it. 1986. If you know of any good other Atari 2600 games I need to cover that I haven't seen so far, let me know. Now, I think there might be cadets here for me to get. Oh, there's a sort of like wiggly woggly thing. Right, so let's shoot them. Maybe there isn't any cadets on here that need to be rescued. So this is an alien planet, folks. Recognise it. It's like a purple background and we've walked again. Now, this one is red, so... Whoa, so my controls are reversed. Well, they were briefly. Uh, that means it's been taken over by the alien Xylon things. Yes, so here we go. Let's keep going. One could argue it's pretty samey as you go forward. But a lot of games are. I really like a game called Enduro, which we reviewed on the Atari 2600, which goes on forever. And it's um, it, it's a bit hypnotic, these games. It puts me in a bit of a mind state where I could be playing literally for ages. Oh, there's the TIE Fighter things. So, you know, 
could have been the last Starfighter, but they didn't get the license. And um, I don't think the last Starfighter is a very believable film, is it? Or well, not believable? They're not. None, none of them are believable. I've lost all my lives. It's um, yeah, it wasn't a memorable film. That's what I wanted. I do like that planet Saturn there in the distance. If indeed it is Saturn, it's got a bit of a wonky ring. It isn't too central, but I'm sure there's an astronomical reason for it. As we go off again, so conserve your fuel. Walk between um, sectors. Well, you haven't got control of the wall as I go away there. And then select where you're going on the grid at times of... Well, there we go. So there's the grid. I'm the X. Where can we go next? I can't scroll everywhere on the grid so far. Some of it is locked off to me. But uh, if you keep shooting stuff, some good stuff is bound to happen. As I say, on the walk bit, try and keep your ship in focus in the middle to preserve fuel. Looks like there's a TIE fighter we're homing in on. Come on, let's get... Yay, take that. That got him. Right, what's that in the distance there? Don't crash into any of the meteor things. It might be good. Oh, it's a pink wiggly thing. It's like Tony Harrison from the Mighty Bush. It's an outrage, he would say. But he's been blown up now. There's that thing that looks like from Battlestar Galactica, the motherships. There's a lot of, lot of stuff pinched here in this game. Solaris, such a cool name. Was there a film called Solaris as well? I think they might, they might well have been. If you're into your Atari games, do check out the Atari 2600 playlist. I haven't reviewed as many games on this system as uh, other systems, like the Spectrum or the Commodore Amiga, but there's a good few There's a good few there to keep you going. It's 8-bit Wonderment. Atari 2600, of course, was out a little bit before my first computer, which I own, the Spectrum 48K, but I would have enjoyed a lot of these games on this thing. Nice earthy sounds, really. Uh, yeah, fantastic, fantastic. It could do, it could do a lot sound-wise. Let's take out Tony Harrison again, if indeed that is Tony Harrison. He won't be impressed with that. Right now comes the uh, Battlestar Galactica ship thing. Take oh, yeah, and the the Zylons, the enemy, does sound a bit like Cylons in Battlestar Galactica. So yeah. Designer Doug Neubauer, he was influenced by a lot of the uh, stuff at the time, the sci-fi things. I do like 70s sci-fi, it's probably my favourite era. Films like The Black Hole, the original Star Wars, Buck Rogers in the 25th century, and even Doctor Who from around that time with Tom Baker. Mind you, that was early 80s when it Tom Baker, maybe he stretched the two. Tom Baker played uh, the character Doctor Who for um, six years, I think. And he had a big long scarf. None of the other doctors have that long scarf. If you have a big long scarf, then comment below. Especially if you've been wearing it for six years. Right, collect the cadets. Where are they? There's one. You're collected, sir. Or madam. Oops. Oh dear, the thing's reversed. I don't know why. I probably blew up the wrong thing. But anyway, I've walked away to live another day. So um, it's not about expert gameplay, these reviews, it's about how you would have found it on your first or second go, and would there have been enough there for you to want to go and play it again. And in my case, yes, I would have liked to play it again, over and over and over again, to try and get to the 16 quadrants and the 48 sectors. And also it's all about finding the, uh, the special aliens as well uh, you need to attack. Jump to a... right, okay. Right, another corridor. Another corridor, we got a blow up. Now when you're doing the hyperspace, try and stay in the middle as it might cost you a bit of fuel. It's a red sector, so the controls have been reversed. This is testing me a little bit. Maybe I should just turn the joystick round the other way. That might help. Oh, look at that, a double shooting. I'm some kind of crazy expert. It must be time for an elite or something. Ooh, man. Nothing sounds like an Atari 2600. I do nothing sound like a Spectrum, nothing sound like a Commodore 64. You could probably, if you're an expert in retro gaming or just got a, um, a vague idea, you could probably uh, identify the computer just by the sound or the console. Boof. Boof. Take that, asteroid or minor planet. Right, what does COR stand for? It stands for core. There's a gun there, what's that? So we're gradually getting some sort of distance. Yeah, as you can see, it's like the linear progression of this, or the random progression, one of those two, or somewhere in between. Um, you never know, going to fully know what you're doing, I don't think, but uh, it will just keep you going for quite some time. Whoa. Kaboom. Yeah, I definitely would be wanting to play this again. 
I just like the shading on the ship really. The space is like a blue to like a lilac, which is always my favourite colours. Uh, and then on the the ground bit over the planet, it's like a yellowy reddy sort of thing, isn't it really? Hmm. Right, let's take out this thing. Don't want to get hit by any of that terrible red evil stuff. Putting up a good defence, this thing. Fuel doesn't look good. Fuel looks lay low. When you get hit by these ships, you don't take ship damage. You just cost you fuel. Run out of fuel and you're doomed. And I'm, I'm doomed there. Right, this is my last life, folks. Try and home in on a planet. Is that a planet there? I think so. Try and home in. On, right, okay. I think we might have got there. Hmm. I think this might be the last warp. Stay in the middle. He's gone. It's Warp City, and it's a nice planet with it's like a well, a deep purple. Uh, uh, nice colour palette, this. Lots of different colours. Ship's now gone red yellow. Look out for cadets that are, might be stranded on the planet. Oh well, we didn't get enough time to uh, didn't get enough time to do so to look out for them. Hmm. Warp away. It's Saturday. No, it's not. It's Sunday. No, it's not. It's what day is it today? It, it is Sunday. Yes. Get my days mixed up. We wanna walk away. We wanna walk away. Kaboom! That's a good effect on it. Controls reverse again because it's a red sector. You, you, you know this. You're no nincompoop. Always out for number one. Red. Okay. So let's just do one last battle and then we'll see what's going on. Let's give them. Let's give them hell. I just want to get to a game over sequence now. It says, Nick, you can pick the whole game because you're jolly brilliant. As we fight these uh, tie fighters. Well, I think. We, oh, I thought we'd almost ca captured that sector back then. It goes black every every now and again, which means we own it. Come on, we want our sector back. Give us our sector back, yo Wally. And that's uh, that's top rude. That's top rude space talk, which they do in space. Why aren't my shots landing in any of these twits? They look like proper Galaxian fellows, those two guys. Or at least uh, funky Christmas tree lights that you might have found in the 70s. Well, come on. Oh man, come on, let's take... No. Stay still, good. It's still a red sector. There's loads of these guys about. I'm being overrun. This is the best attack so far by the alien boys. Girls, whoever they may be. Gender neutral. Oh, oh man. If you're enjoying the channel and you haven't already, please consider subscribing because that helps the thing grow in the mysterious YouTube algorithm. Who knows how that works? I don't know where that works. Yes. So, you know, um, I think we've seen uh, maybe enough of this uh, here. So I hope you liked having a look at that one as we walk away. Let's just get through here. Now, I hope you like having a look at that one. That was Solaris on the Atari 2600, designed by Doug Neubauer and published by Atari in 1986. I really like it. I like the sounds of it. I like the graphics, and it's good playability too. If you've got any comments about this game, anything retro, then please put that below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.